Hey guys, I'm Burning Dog Face. Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake 2. I was just uh, encouraging myself to uh, face the current situation. thing. <laughs> okay. We're here in Lighthouse Trailer Park in Watery. Outside are wolves taken various monsters and a radio show that I need to listen to. This is not going to be easy. Those wolves in particular are merciless. Thought they were like supposed to be afraid of humans. Uh oh yes, shout out to Justin Jones. He says, Fucking YouTube, I'm all the way into the atmosphere of this game, listening to your narration slash thought processes, and then a fucking ad. Made me jump a couple times. I like that. Uh, shout out to Elthwar, who says, Okay, so the FBC experiment worked at manifesting something, and hopefully the staff learned something about what the darkness does with ambiguity. I don't know if they reported that to the Bureau or if their monster got them, though I do hope that it got reported just to prevent them from trying again. I guess that's like with the bear stuff. I'm not sure it actually worked until Saga did it, but again, it might have worked and they turned it off. Uh... Seems someone of the cult seems to be trying to write their own stories into reality as well. The zombies might not be a good thing to put into reality, but I can see why some of the people who know about the lake's powers would try. See the FBC. Uh, For their sake, though, I hope it didn't get that close to manifesting. The suggestion that the writer that the writer they're talking about is Alan makes it sound like Rose was doing the writing. That is interesting to me. Okay, you mothers. Running. That's a problem I can deal with later. Where was it? Oh, it was this one back here, yes. Okay, uh, since I didn't hear a song after it last time, I'm going to attempt to just listen to this now, okay? Technical issues. Yes, I'm pressing the button, but it's not broadcasting. That green light is supposed to be red. Yeah, which light? This one here. Donna's grandson wrote down instructions for me, but I, I can't for the life of me remember where I put them. You sure you're not on the air? Yeah, green means off, red means on. Or was it... No, that, that's right. I, I need a red light here. Oh, have you tried just uh, mashing all these buttons? Oh, raspberries. That, that's... Which button did you press? This one right here. Nope, that wasn't it. I'm gonna call Donna's grandson. Hello? Tapio? Sorry, I, I, I misdialed. No, you didn't. I was still on the line. Can we get Tapio off the line? I need to call Donna's grandson. Wrong. That was the Anderson girl. Did Damn it.
Okay, we're here on the loading screen, because fuck that. For whatever reason, I seem to be totally unable to, uh... Listen to that uh, particular entry on the screen. The screen? In the mind place, I mean. Alright, fuck it. Uh, take some crossbow bolts with me. Wrong side. Okay, just check it. I guess I'll just listen to the crappy version this time, because honestly, it kind of sells this particular one. I always find it interesting, the different tactics people take in games. You know, in games you're going around looting the entire area, you might find it useful to, clo to leave doors open so you know where you've been. On the other hand, if you're playing, say, this game, you might find it useful to, uh, make sure to close doors behind you, so that if anyone comes after you, you can hear them coming. That green light is supposed to be red. <laughs> Pressing the button, but it's not broadcasting. Pat Maine, ladies and gentlemen. Also, Tapio and a third man I can't identify. I believe I looked at this last time and then died. Uh, pills in the sink. A bunch of bottles of bleach in the bathtub and a bucket? Huh. That is weird. Maybe they thought they could dissolve a body. Actually, there's a bunch of bottles of bleach around, unless those are cartons of milk. Is that milk? Well, that, okay, yeah, that's milk. Is that milk in the... F Wait, why would there be cartons of milk in the bathtub? That makes even less sense! Because, you know, because, you know, oh, we need to, like, soak some fabric in bleach, let's put it somewhere that drains, you know? I can't tell. I don't need to actually think that is the same bottle. Where are those dudes? I came out of here and like a bunch of dudes popped up. I wonder if the idea behind that Nightless Night song is that, uh... Yeah, Mr. Scratch is a monster unlike anything we've ever encountered. But you're the one badass enough to take him down. No one. At all. What if I walk back? Are the, are the wolves also random? God damn it. Actually, this I can probably leave open. Okay, 
first things first. Get in here, get in here. Whoops. Glad there aren't actually wolves around at the moment. Oh, shit! I've just recalled. The actual reason I ran back in here the first time. The goddamn charm. Used to be you could just avoid these motherfuckers and they'd evaporate when the sun comes up. Literally, the darkness would swarm over them and they'd just disappear. Oh! I might be the monster! Holy shit! I took 11 bullets and I don't think I missed! That'll stop a leap! I got another barrel ready for ya. Come on! I have a feeling it's smart enough to wait till I reload! I can use this charm on my bracelet. Let's try swap. Oops, let's try swapping out the, uh. Fucking coffee world. The hammer. And turn it off the staggering. What was that actually doing? Right! Increases quality and quantity of resources found. And that sounds crucial. I don't know what it means by quality, since it's not like there's a crafting system in this game. Okay. I'm trying to think of where I've even seen quality in games. And it's like... Well, you know, maybe if it was, uh... Like Red Dead Redemption, where you get different quality pelts depending on how you killed an animal. fact. All right. All right, this leads to the warehouse. I mean, what the fuck was that? A metal object fell from the sky and bounced off this hill. There's not even anything above here. Like a wire or anything. I mean, there's one there, but... I don't think that was supposed to happen. I don't think that was meant to be like an ominous noise or anything. Oh, that's right, I was coming back to Coffee World because of... this. Looks like I came in through the right way, after all. Oh, for God's sake. I wonder why the overlap isn't open anymore. The thing is still going. Let me just pause while I'm under this to look under here. Hi, buddy. Oh, good. Now this is happening. You. 
I dodged to the left, so it missed me but to the right, and flew directly into the camera, Justin. Fuck. He finished the throw after I hit him! Although the worst part, of course, is that I knew he- I somehow knew he was going to do that, so I dodged anyway! Thank god, bullets. Uh, where the fuck was I going? Towards the Espresso Express, that's right. Oh, ride temporarily out of order for maintenance, yes. Because I had to fix it. By breaking another ride. Oh no, this is the one I broke, yes. The lights are off, and it's not moving, but it sounds like it is, which is weird. Oh, I'll copy here, do I take damage? No. <laughs> So the engine is going, but it's not actually doing anything, and it's probably really bad for it, huh? Where's this page? Can I get up here? Not from here. What? No, that can't be right. I can't get there. I nailed to a tree. I feel like it's directly underneath me. Ah! There you are, you little devil. Deputies corrupted. The killing of Monica Thompson was a terrible mistake. Thornton blamed Mulligan's itchy trigger finger. There it is. Mulligan blamed Thornton's shitty pastrami sandwich. Hmm. They only agreed it wasn't their fault. No one will find her corpse. We'll hide it. They fed the body to the maw of a crumbling well, like the murderous Huatari brothers did long ago. They lied to everyone. The word would never get out. But a secret like this doesn't die. It grew inside them, like cancer. The darkness taking over, filling the shape of them. Okay. Okay. That was the piece we were missing. I was wondering where the fuck she got to the, the, uh, the, the... Wait. She referenced that one, talking about how they murdered someone and hid it in the well. Maybe they hid the, uh, the skull there, too. I mean, it is just sat on the ground here. I did not see this, and I came here twice. Because it's way off to the side, just sitting in the middle of the dirt. I feel like if they wanted me to find that one because it was so crucial to the characterization of those guys that they were quoting it constantly, they should have stuck it somewhere obvious, like on the side of the well. Hey, just checking. Uh huh. Oh yes, the one that's locked for the guy, huh? I'm reminded of that one nursery rhyme we found about how the. Uh, the old man did an evil deed to spite the ocean. And, uh... By his evil deed, did he become evil. Where's the percolator? That was close to the water. I remember there's something over there. There's 
still looking for one of those guys under an archway. Was it meant to be one of these, was it? They don't seem to have numbers on them. They don't all have the guy painted on them. Huh. I can't actually get into the middle anymore. That's clearly a path leading over there. All right. Um. Oh God. Where are you? Okay, just real quick. How the fuck do I get out of here? God damn it, and he's walking over here. Tourists. Money. Oops. Oops. Okay. Damn it. Remember that guy whose entire left side turned into beef when I shot him with a shotgun? I was going over the uh, footage while editing that episode and realized that was so much worse than I thought it was. Because when I shoot him in that moment, he rears back, like he leans his upper body back, and you get a pretty good view underneath his uh, rib cage. I mean, it's all just red mess as opposed to like clearly defined organs, but Jesus! You know, not that it's a surprise at this point, but these guys can take punishment that no human ever could. How many times do I have to kill you? You know I don't need the uh, flashlight for the crossbow. Fuck's sake. Killed you through the dark, bitch! Oh, hell. Timer, timer. Watery needed a miracle. I guess I got the wolf back. You are not going to be able to hit me with all this crap in the environment. I'm never gonna get used to this. Why did he drop a crossbow bolt? Oh yeah, I should probably put that back. Okay. Yeah, when it's just the throwy guys, it's uh not too difficult to focus on their uh, axe throwing. That's an archway. Eh? 
What's behind the smile, right? Oh, did I find this before? Oh, another rhyme. Nope. <laughs> One of the uh, bumper cars that's floating in the goddamn water is uh, currently being captained by a statue of a humanoid moose drinking coffee and sitting down. That is not the same one I've seen elsewhere because those ones were standing up straight. They modeled two different wooden moose statues. Red pants. Or red shirts and blue pants. Oh. Oh! Moose doll. Deer doll. And I've just now realized I haven't been putting this shit on the walls. Uh. No, 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 no. The nursery rhymes. Child doll used to solve the rhyme puzzle. Cute. I like the braids. Deer doll used to solve the rhyme puzzle. Kind of hard to tell it's a deer. I suppose clothes bins are a limiting medium. Yeah, it's got four legs at the bottom. It's it's uh, like arrows straight up to the top. There's a face painted on the front surface of it. And there's a stick running through the top of it with a bunch of wires in the shape of antlers. Uh, moose doll used to solve the rhyme puzzle. Same concept, different design. I love it, the antlers and its little face. Nicely made. Rhyme found at the dock by the watery lighthouse trailer park. A rhyme about a fisherman who lost their catch to a hungry bear. Rhyme found outside the watery lighthouse. A rhyme about an old man who became a monster. Is that what that meant? I also couldn't tell if anything had actually changed or not. I just followed the, p the path and got to the uh, thing. But history is repeating itself, somehow, and I'm going to call this episode and start the next one by looking at this nursery rhyme. So I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you then. And I guess then we'll head off to, uh, Watery so we can see what Alan's up to. Till then, have yourselves a great day, and stay in the light. <laughs>